Hi, uh, my name is Michael Eddy. I'm a second year grad student in Sam Bowering's lab here at MIT. And uh, my main research focus is on the thermal and uh, chronologic history of the North Cascades in, in Washington State. And what that means is I uh, date rocks or find the date that they cooled through a certain temperature to learn more about the uh, the vertical and horizontal motions of rock in this uh, volcanic arc. My interest in geology goes back many, many years uh, to when I was uh, just a kid and on one of the beaches in North Carolina I found a uh, fossil shark's tooth that was very big and as a child of course you're fascinated by that sort of thing and uh, uh, ever since then, yes, yeah, I've continued to be interested in the Earth, uh, and especially its history, which has led me to, to work on the problems I do in Sam Bowering's lab with geochronology. I uh, did my undergraduate education at Princeton University, which uh, has an outstanding group of, of geology faculty, and I, I ended up majoring in the geoscience department there. And my advisor is actually one of Sam Bowering's former students. And I, I ended up getting very interested in the work that he did and, uh, and decided that this is what I wanted to be doing and, and this is the place to go. So geochronology is essentially dating earth materials using different isotopic systems. Uh, here in the 11th floor at MIT, we use the uranium lead system. So there are two isotopes of uranium that independently decay to two different isotopes of lead. And by knowing their decay constants and uh, measuring isotopic ratios, we can then back calculate uh, an age for that, that mineral. So for my first two years at MIT, I've taken a lot of classes. I've worked on my second general exam project with Tim Grove, uh, as well as done some uh, some work on rocks from the North Cascades here in Sam Bowering's lab. Um, once I you know, move into the final phase of graduate school, which can be quite lengthy, <laughs> um, uh, I'm very interested in working on uh, the exhumation history of, of rocks in the North Cascades. So this means that uh, we can go there today and using some mineral equilibrium, uh, chemical equilibrium between different minerals, we can uh, calculate the pressures that these rocks, the peak pressures that these rocks experience. And we see that they have come from quite deep uh, in the Earth's crust, but now they're at the surface. So one of the things I wanna answer is well, how quickly did they come to the surface? Uh, more importantly, why did they come all the way from uh, deep in the crust to the surface? Uh, and then finally, what, what structures, are there faults or you know, what sort of structures allowed them to, to move that far vertically?